What up, dog? Back at it. This story gonna be about Bupak, also known as Robert Lee. This story takes place out of Pontiac, Michigan. Police arrest two men and killing of Pontiac man known for fooling sexual predators. Police have arrested two men in the Friday killing of a 40-year-old Pontiac man who often posed as a minor on social media in attempts to catch sexual predators. Robert Wayne Lee, who ran a popular Facebook page with 11,000 followers using the moniker Bupak Shakur, confronted two males ages 17 and 18 seated in a Pontiac restaurant near the corner of North Perry and MLK Boulevard. About 10.30 p.m., Friday, according to the Oakland County Sheriff's Office, Lee accused one of the men of being a pedophile and punched him, causing the man to pull out a knife and the other man to produce a firearm, which he used to shoot Lee several times before the two fled the restaurant, police said. Lee was taken to a hospital where he later died. The two suspects were arrested early Saturday afternoon in Pontiac, according to a news release from the Oakland County Sheriff's Office. The suspected shooter is 17. Both suspects are believed to be from Pontiac. Detectives were expected to turn the case over to prosecutors for potential charges on Sunday or Monday. Police said Lee's running ruse posing as a 15-year-old girl online was at times successful, but also resulted in false accusations. His one-man crusade has led to the arrest and criminal charges being filed against several men, the sheriff's office said in a news release. He has also mistakenly identified someone as a sexual predator who was not. While we certainly understand his desire to hold child predators accountable, many times well-intentioned individuals who engaged in this don't know the standard of evidence required for convictions and often underestimated the potential for violence confronting a suspected predator, said Sheriff Michael Bouchard. They feel trapped and often lash out violently. When we have arrested predators in such circumstances, they have rammed police cars and exhibited other violent behavior in attempts to escape. Crazy. So my man, Boo Pock, he was doing this thing on, online, posing as a you know, underage girl and catching predators. You know, there's ups and downs to this. Sometimes you'll be catching them. So, and sometimes... You'll be thinking someone's a predator, they're not, mistaken identity, um, you know, whatever the case is. And unfortunately, you know, uh, when he went to confront this predator, lashed out, got killed. It's, a, it's a, you know, it's a shame. Long live Boo Pock. One post on social media read, I think it's important for the citizens of Pontiac to know that the owner, owner Tony of Universal Coney Island shut his business down during a candlelight vigil for my cousin, Bupak Shakur, and he gave flowers to his mom. In addition, he offered to feed the immediate family for free, and he was very sincere for the loss of our family member. He was very moved by Boo's passion for the kids. That's the restaurant that all this happened at with Coney Island. It's a sad story. Um, I did not know dude personally, but I know some, uh, I got some brothers and some homies out in Pontiac that did know him personally and went to his vigil. And my, um, one of my homeboys is actually talking to the mayor of Pontiac about putting up, uh, I think like a statue of Bupak or, or some type of memorial out there in Pontiac. Hope you liked it. Go ahead, drop your thoughts and opinions in the comments. Like, subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one. Much love, peace, blessings, and much gratitude.